Hey guys, what is up? All who BC here. Welcome back to the Journey to Jared. This is episode number 30. Uh, sorry that this is a late upload. I didn't actually play any FIFA at all yesterday. I just finished watching the Liverpool vs Red Star game. Let's start this up with a two-player pack like normal, but it is a Champions League two-player pack as they dropped these, I believe, yesterday. Um, I'm only seeing them today, though, obviously. Uh, I've clicked A. Nothing's happening, though. Servers? Okay. <laughs> so the pack is actually opening. Thank you, Air. Will I get anything? Okay, we've got Boars, which is a rare player. It doesn't even mean much. This could be... Who's this? Dennis Suarez? Yeah, I was thinking Iniesta, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> that doesn't add up. <laughs> so we get Dennis Suarez there. Uh, not exactly the Suarez I want to pack from Barcelona. We also get Maranchuk. Okay, neither of them are going to make my team anytime soon, but they might be good for uh, an SBC at some point. But anyway, guys, in today's episode, now that we've opened that pack, we are now going to complete the three tradable Champions League player pack SBC. I've already done it. I just had to submit it and show you guys how I did it. Then we will try to complete the weekly objective to obtain the foot swap player. And then finally, we will open up our division rivals rewards. It might only be rank three, though, as I didn't play much foot champs games. So I didn't get the uh, 400 times, you know, however many games I didn't play. So yeah, I'll try to get it, and we'll get closer to it with the unlocking the foot swap player. But don't get your hopes up too much for the rank two rewards. Not that it really matters because I don't get anything from them anyway. So this is how I have completed the Stars Will Shine SBC. Uh, I like how they did just a single SBC to get the three player pack this time, not the marquee matchups. Because the Liverpool players want to like 8, 9k. I don't know what they've done the marquee matchups this year though, but they've been absolutely terrible. I'm not going to bother with the. Um, Champions League Mikey matchups this week, uh, but this is how I have completed the Stars with Shine SBC, guys. I only had to buy this right back, uh, he's 1500 coins, a bit expensive, uh, but it doesn't really matter. We'll make our money back from this pack. You guys can see that this is largely untradeable. A few of the players are tradable, um, but they're not really worth anything, so I'm not too sad about uh, trading them in. So we will submit that now. So last one we opened of these, we did manage to pack a Fernandinho in this account. I then did it on my other account. I got some 77 rated guy who didn't sell for anything. So let's hope we can have continue with this account's Champions League pack luck. Not this account's regular pack luck, because that is absolutely awful. So it's obviously going to be boards, because it's a rare. Oh, Bernardo Silva maybe? Ah, oh, it's going to be Rafa. Really hoping that would be Bernardo Silva. But, hmm... I'm trying to shoot a code. That's not, that's not a good pack. 80 rated. Um, definitely nowhere near as good as the last one of these we opened. Yeah, definitely not as good. Is that guy in form at the moment? We got two um, Benfica players in that pack. Anyway, I'm just going to send them all to the club as none of those guys will be worth anything. Now let's get on to the Div Rivals gameplay. So we have found our first opponent of the day. We only need to score two goals. We don't even need to win. But with that defense, it's going to be a struggle to even score two goals. What is that? Even the midfield is incredibly defensive. Anyway, guys, since this weekly objective does exist where we need to just score two goals, I think we're going to see some very end-to-end -end football. That's a good ball, but it might be offside. Is that a penalty or is it offside? Hey, it's a penalty. I thought for sure I was offside. The good thing about Div Rivals is you actually get an arrow on the penalty. So is Jared going to get his first goal on camera? He is! There we go. Captain Fantastic. Oh my god. Oh, for God's sake. Wait, way did he just freaking save that? Great ball, Gerard. Good job, Danny. Oh, my God. I was just about to score for the win, but okay. Off the tie or whatever. An utter waste of my time. I get a loss for that when he disconnected? Oh, that is a joke. This guy's got the Jordan PSG kits. You know he's going to be jumping up for those corners. Oh, dear God. Well, that's a great start. 
Oh my god. Come on, Visor. That's not the skill move we were going for there, but we retained the ball. Come on, Genie. You've had a good game so far. He deserves a goal. These guys have gotten three accidental blocks while he was on the ground in pain. Get okay, cutbacks on. No, we have to cross instead. Oh, for Christ's sake, that's Fabinho. And how did Rabio get that under control before he passed into Fabinho? That is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god! What are these goals that he's scoring with Lacazette? Like it's not a great first half performance by the boys. What a fun half that was. I attacked the entire time, we just sat back, and there were no goals the entire half. What a fun way to play the game of FIFA. You guys can see the stats there, I was much more offensive in the second half. My guy was taking terrible long shots, that's why I had so many corners. Oh, it's just so frustrating. When you've got such a good team, you're winning 5-0, why just sit everyone back in the second half? Especially when you know that there's an objective to get two goals. So, it's so annoying. My skill rating is down to 1700 now, which is probably actually a good thing. Maybe when I get that down, I'll actually um, not versus Super Team every game. Maybe I should purposely get down to Div 5. Comment below, guys. Should I purposely move down to Div 5 so I stop versing Super Team after Super Team? I like being in Div 4 because I feel like it's better practice for foot champions, but it means that all year round I'm not going to verse a single, like, you know, casual player. It's just every single person is just like, Ooh, I must get the best rewards possible. Because I've paid so much money in the game, I need to get Elite 1 to be able to upgrade my squad with the rewards got from actually playing in the game. Alright, this it's going to be hard for this game to go worse than the previous one, so... Oh, hit me with that Kimbembe Lloris. I love that, that so much. Oh, and Rabio again. Great. I missed him. Come on, Vice, I'll make your magic... Work your magic. There's a guy in the box. One Eldum. One nil. There we go. That was all Vicer, but still a decent finish by Van Eldum there. Will in top of the box. That should be the second goal to get the thing for the liner. Yes, it is. Fantastic. So we can just play for fun now. Not have to worry about getting the second goal. How am I this out of position? Am I that bad at defending? Wow. Like as it's apparently the best player in the game we found out today. We got an overlapper here. I believe it's Willian. That's an easy goal. Green release. All right, in the 45th minute, we go 3-1 to the good. A 47th minute corner. Wow, that's got no chance of not going in. Yep. How predictable is this game? How predictable is FIFA 19, guys? Are they telling me that wasn't offside? Oh my god. Lucas is through. He's going to be expecting me to switch onto his right. He was. Now let's bring it back a little bit. Someone in the middle. Didn't go to him, but it went to Willian, who scores it anyway. Not where he wanted to go, but thanks. Yeah, he helped me out there. That was a good pass, too. Lingard's is absolutely bullied on Aldovich off the ball. That makes sense. Well, that's as good as four all of us have ever seen. What a save by a camper! Oh my word! That's one of the best saves I've seen this FIFA. It's happened for me. That's unexpected. And that is the game, guys. We've somehow won at 4 3. We only got a hat trick, apparently, but Kepa made some absolutely ridiculous saves in that second half. You've got to feel for my opponent in that situation. Kepa made 11 huge saves. His Hugo Lloris only made the three. But what's this next opponent got? I see. Well, someone's gotten lucky from his weekly rewards. Jeez. And what a midfield. Veron Fabinho, who had a good game today, by the way, in real life. Pogba. That is a scary, scary team. Hello? So fresh. Who jumps into a game when they're not actually there? I don't understand. Why are you allowed to take that long to kick off? Anyway, it's so dumb. Hopefully we can score while he's AFK. AFC, I should say. Was he there? Did he just pass it? 
I just missed the tackle. I think I just missed the tackle. Jerry wins it high. Lucas on the ball now. My God. This Lucas card gets worse every week, I swear. First for champs, I swear he got like 50 goals. Second, he got like 20 goals. And ever since, I swear he's been scoreless. Yep, there it is. He's disconnected. That's so frustrating, guys, that I couldn't even score one, let alone two, before he's disconnected. I'm probably going to get a draw for that, which is ridiculous. I can't believe that Lucas didn't score that chance. So frustrating. Yeah, we get a match draw for that. How did Lucas not score that chance? So annoying. Anyway, let's jump into the next game, I guess. Hopefully, someone actually wants to play the game. It's a good team. Oh, that's got to be a goal. And it is. Green beams are not as broken as they were a couple weeks ago, but in that position, you're always going to score them still. And he just scores off the kickoff. It is what it is. I'm not really going for wins right now, to be honest. I just want the two goals, so I don't really care if I concede. That's good. Play. That's great play. Well, now, can he finish it off? He does. Fantastic play. Very deserved goal. And those are the two goals, so... From here, I don't really care what happens, but we will go for the win, I suppose, just for the extra points, as we are actually ranked three at the moment because they didn't play much foot champs. When well, Nelden gets man of the match with a goal and an assist, don't ever change more formation. Oops. <laughs> First time that's happened. Anyway, obviously a very deserved win. This guy's team name is Hullet the Dogs Out, so I'm quite scared right now. Okay, he doesn't have Hullet. He's always got Fabinho like everyone does. He's got Fred Goretzka. That's a very good midfield. Lewandowski, Jesus. Davison, Sanchez, Boateng, and Neuer in defense. Very, very well-rounded team. Don't know what I meant to do about that. Okay, good. I thought they weren't going to call that for a second. Gerard's got another free kick. We gotta score one eventually, Gerard. He's he's somewhat close on every single one of his attempts. This is the one. Oh, he struck it on target at least. What? That was the weirdest dribbling ever by my player there. I think it was Gundigan. She can't have been Gundigan because Gundigan's right there getting the assist. No, that head is not gonna do much for you. Oh, apparently it is. My player can't clear the ball. What? What did Boateng just do? What? I was controlling the goalkeeper, picking it up. What just happened? My opponent skipped the replay, so I literally don't know what just happened. At half time, guys, it's a pretty even game. Uh, obviously, we are a man down, though, which doesn't help the, the cause. I've got a silver no idea what Boateng did, but okay. What? I was trying to clear it, and I didn't even know what just happened. My guy just fell over, and then Lewandowski scored. I was looking at the bottom right, because I assumed I cleared it to make sure I went on attacking properly. What even just happened? I mean, there's nothing I can do to stop that. He should not be able to do that. He, he's not capable of that in real life. I don't think he's ever scored outside the box before in his career. Let alone done something like that. He's not Coutinho. Or Del Piero. And we do obviously lose 4-0. The losing was probably deserved just because, you know, I was a ball hanging down. But I definitely um, could have been closer than 4-0. We've actually completed the uh, score four goals in Chelsea players in rivals objective. It's a two player pack. I didn't even know this was a thing. I just happened to do it with um, William. William, I've got. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Just accidentally did a weekly objective when I'm trying to go for a different one. May as well open this up on camera. Not that I'm expecting anything. But this is the two player pack. The rare is actually a goal, which is good, but it's Pabon, which isn't too useful for me right now. Anyway, I'm going to take a break from playing FIFA right now because that loss annoyed me and I'm probably going to play a squad battle game so I can get my ball tang back. I'll be back in an instant for you guys with either Div Rival Rewards or another game of foot of Div Rivals or maybe even a squad builder because I hate this team I'm using so incredibly much. Alright guys, to finish up this video, we do have Division Rivals Rewards. I was going to take the 34,000 coins, guys, to improve my team for the Weekend League, 
But I'm, I've been a bit bored with FIFA this week, guys. And I've decided that I'm going to change the way this series works. There's going to change it completely. Completely. It's still going to be called the journey... It's still going to be called the journey to Gerard. I'm still going to be going for Gerard. But you guys probably think at this point, okay, what's he doing? I already have Gerard. What do you mean I'm going to still be going for Gerard? I'm going to go in for Prime Gerard because I'm changing the series, guys, to a first owner only series. You guys might be familiar with this if you've watched Nick Van T's Poor Man Road to Glory on Nep's Road to Glory. Uh, I've decided that. When I started doing it, I thought that wouldn't be very fun. You know, I want to be able to buy Gerard because I wasn't sure if they were going to do Prime Icon SPCs. But now I know 100% they are doing Prime Icon SPCs. You know, a month in, I already have 800k, 1000, 800k. And the Gerard card, you know, it's good. This 86 one, but it's 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 not great, guys. So I sell him, do a lot of untradeable packs, and then hold the coins, you know, make investments. I'll explain that, 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 guys. I'll explain how I'm gonna change the series at the start of the next episode. So comment below if you guys are really against me changing the way this works. But if you're not, then I will just change it and I'll explain it at the start of next episode so that people who watch the start of the video and then click off will know. So we are gonna choose the untradeable packs just for when we start this guy's you know, we need to get players in the club. We have some good players, but not a lot. So it's unfortunate we've only gotten rank 3 now. We've decided to do this. We really need untradeable packs now. But 4 mega packs is still not bad. So let's get into them. Alright, before we get into these packs, I just want to apologise if you hear my cat in the background. She is meowing uh, at me. But first, 35k pack. Come on, EA. We've changed the way the series works. We need to get big players now. Okay, but I'm going to board in the first pack. And that is a... That, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Center in. We're running out of consumables, EA. Could you please give us some fitness cards or some useful stuff like that, please? Okay, Begovic is a pretty decent Premier League goalkeeper. I actually don't know what Premier League goalkeeper I have. Under oh, I've got Kepa. So that doesn't really matter. Um, Sarashia is a pretty good Bundesliga left back. See, this has changed the whole way that you look at plays you get. Like, I'll look at this... With Morita wouldn't be like, okay, that's crap, you know, I'll use these guys in SBC eventually. But now I'm actually, you know, thinking about, like, if I make a Bundesliga team, Sriracha is probably going to get into it. We do get a lot of fitnesses there, so that was actually not a terrible pack, th thanks to the fitness. Alright, second mega pack. The first one wasn't good for plays, it was great for consumables. Now I'm happy with my consumables here, hey, can I please get some players in this pack? Okay, we've got boards, just a gold card, Spanish, striker... Rodrigo, I think I actually already have him untradeable, which really, really sucks. If I don't, though, then that's a really good pull, but I'm pretty sure I have him. Like, 97% sure I have him untradeable. Oh, we don't! Oh, it must be on my my other account that I have him. That's a really, really decent pull, then. He's on a great card, but um, considering, you know, we're doing a first owner, switching it to a first owner, he is a decent card. Where's Galicedrini and Butland, who have been good cards of previous FIFAs? Sigerson's not great, but a decent card. He might come into a Premier League squad at some point. I like Cams, who can uh, dribble and turn and stuff, and who are agile and small. That's why I'm not too excited about him, but that is not bad. Alright, halfway through, we've got, come on, we're building up. we got nothing, then we got bored. Can we get a walkout here? Please, EA. Yeah. It's been weeks and weeks since I got a walkout. Oh, that's not going to be a walkout, obviously. Sirigu. Alright, I guess we got to see our goalkeeper then. What else do we have in this pack? DeMarcos is decent. we got Lecky, nice. He's a terrible card, but it's cool to get him. Oh, I'll throw together an Australian team at some point. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like, guys. As I said earlier, uh, like a minute ago or so ago, please do comment below what you guys think I should do with the series, as I'm just not finding it as fun as I was two, three weeks ago. Now, I think we've just gotten Gerard too. Wow. I think we've just gotten Gerard too. Is that Seri? Okay, that's actually a very decent, well-rounded Premier League midfielder. Um, I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. He's a really, really good card, this FIFA. And a really good player in real life, too. But anyway, guys... Hopefully you did enjoy this video, and as I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted by that nice pack pool. <laughs> um, comment below what you guys think. I, I think I'm pretty sure I'm just going to switch it to a first owner, Road to Glory, and then our ultimate goal is still going to be getting Gerard. Uh, but we'll obviously do his prime mic on SBC, as my plan was anyway. But I'm not going to buy the 86 and the 89 one first. I'm just going to get to the big boy Gerard. So yeah, I think that could be pretty exciting. 
Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Unfortunately, we, like usual, our pack luck has been crap. This is going to make the series a lot harder, guys, because my pack luck has not been good. So between this episode, guys, and the start of next episode, I'm going to get rid of all of the first owner... I mean, sorry, all of the bought plays from my club, and that does include my Robbo, who has like 180 to 190 games on him. It's going to really, really hurt to sell him. I think I might just put him to the transfer list and sell him when he's worth more for an SPC or something. And even not, you know, it's only 5,000 coins. I'll just chuck him to the transfer list so I can just look at him and have him uh, because he's played so many games. You know, it's such a big part of my club. But it's going to really, really hurt not being able to use Andrew Robertson. So really, really hoping that we pack him. But anyway, guys, as I said about five times already, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time.